Ah, what's up vlog? So, there's a lot of things that have been bothering me in the past month, year. Um, I didn't really realize it today and unless I, un until I was watching um, Gary V on YouTube. I'm sure you guys know him from like this one video on Facebook that went viral. About this is not the time to get the job mom wanted you to. This is not the time to try to maximize as much money so you can buy a, a fat whip. This is the time to realize that you have a five year window and it's three for some, it's eight for others, but this is a five year window for you to attack the life that you want to win, not because it's the secret or because the world's so zen, because it's fucking hard as shit out there. As a matter of fact, I'm probably more scared about your naivete. To like what you're doing in the millennials, but I've been watching him since I was 19, man. 19 and I'm now 22, so I've been watching him for a good three years, about to be four, so awesome on that, but I've just been in a huge rut. I'm seeing all my friends do these amazing things here, doing dance intensive music videos, some of them are on tour, um, just a lot of them are, are like being accepted in these awesome, awesome, great things and I'm very, very happy for these people and I don't know, I'm just sitting in my room just like contemplating where the hell did I go wrong and like trying to figure out what I'm doing with my life and just trying to find my purpose, that's all. And it's just something I really want to talk about it. So like I said, I was watching Gary Vee today um, because I was very down. I was just sitting in my room like upset after my editing, which is very upset. Um, the biggest thing I did take away today was um, I wasted a lot of that time not knowing that I was wasting a lot of energy on these things. I was wasting a lot of energy and stress on like, oh man, why is this person doing what they're doing and why are they doing so good? Yeah, and I'm just trying to figure out like, I'm so upset, like I, I'm, I'm not getting anywhere in life. And I'm sure there's a lot of people that are thinking out there, MJ, you're doing really good, you're directing daily. Nice little ass back there. <laughs> you have your own dance workshop, like you're on the 312 crew, like that's, and I'm, I'm extremely thankful for it, don't get me wrong, but it's just like my goals are, my goals are just like different, you know? I. I guess like if my goal was to be an industry dancer or something along those lines, yes, 312 crew would be great and everything. I realized one thing and one thing only, don't f***ing waste your time dwelling on other people's successes and why you're not doing good because you have to be f***ing patient and I just realized that shit today and I know I always talk about, oh enjoy the journey, enjoy the process, but it's hard. Like, I feel like you enjoy the journey until you get to a certain point and then you have to understand, humble yourself and rejoin that journey again because once you get to a point of success and it's just like, okay, yeah, I got into 312 Crew. I am directing daily. I My shit is out in the community. Now you have to re-humble yourself, work extra harder, work more hard and just, just fucking get your shit out there. <sighs> Don't waste your time dwelling on other people's success. Don't waste your time in bed. Stop watching fucking Facebook fights. Stop watching $1 steak versus $330 steaks. Just just stop fucking doing it. I'm sorry for the profanity, but I, I like I said I do feel very strong and I was very in a huge I was in a really bad like mental state regarding this, like not mental state in general like about my family and friends, but like mental state regarding my career and like me as a person. So Stop wasting your energy. If you want to be successful, find what your end goal is and figure out how you're going to get there. And then those goals will give you that reassurance that you're doing something right. You never know if your failures, your hardships could be other people's successes. Um, just stop fucking wasting my time. Anyway, thank you for watching the vlog. Um, it's something I really wanted to talk about. Yeah, it sucks because I've been letting, over the past few few months I've been letting my vlog run me and dictate what I do during the week and what I do during the weekends when it sh really it should be the other way around because really what I really want to do is I really want to fucking work I just want to work my ass off and I should be documenting that instead of all the fun shit that looks cool you know what I mean so with that being said I'm gonna stop going on social media a lot that's what I'm doing um, uh, business purposes only like I, I do watch like stupid videos here and there and it does take up some time and it does fuck me over in the end of the day so it's not going on social media unless it's promotion business reasons 
Um, I'm gonna stop hanging out with friends and spending so much money because just like that. I will talk to them because they're my friends, but I can't talk to them to a point where it's like networking because I feel like I, I'm confident in myself as a person and a dancer to um, get to the things I need to do. I've been letting my vlog run my life and that's not how it should be. So that being said, I'm gonna take back control of my vlog. I'm gonna dictate what I wanna put on, not what the media wants, okay? Thank you for watching. I know I stumbled over my words a lot, but it's, it's hard. Um, so yeah, thanks. See you later. Peace out.